Fusion Mobile Quality e-learning experience on the go Imperialism and neo-colonialism First of all, we will start with imperialism Imperialism may be defined as the economic control and exploitation of foreign lands arising from the necessity to reverse the impediments to the accumulation of capital which gave rise to the internal contradictions of the domestic capitalist economy it can also be extended further to mean the creation of unequal economic relationship between states not simply the inequality between rich and poor states but that which borders on political and economic dependence of the poor on the rich in his book imperialism hobson articulated some of the psychological motives put forward as explanation of imperialism such as national pride quest for glory etc he also said that the result of capitalist development in the west was that industry became more productive and needed greater imports of raw materials more food for the urban population growing in response to industrialization and products to meet the rising demand for luxury goods created by a rising living standard Karl Marx argued that imperialism is a necessary product of capitalism where surplus value is converted into capital a process called accumulation so this is all that we can say about imperialism then the next point is neo colonialism this is identified in the persistent influence of the ex colonial powers in the domestic and foreign policies of the newly independent states which is particularly noticeable in the economic field where the colonial type of economic relations are not only sustained but are given a boost most african states have consistently demonstrated these new colonial tendency by maintaining diplomatic links with either the west or the east bloc and accepting aid from both blocks therefore as a result of their dependence on foreign aid the foreign policy of most of them is skewed in favor of their colonial overlords this has resulted in the maintenance of a very close relations with their erstwhile colonial overlords similarly the activities of IMF which stands for International Monetary Fund and the World Bank in most of these developing states have neo colonial tendencies as these states are puppets to the IMF as well as to the former colonies in terms of economic aids they are also equally subject to manipulation in the hands of these developed countries today in nigeria we have several multinational corporations in the name of oil companies which even up to date economically exploit nigerians and this is also an aspect of new colonialism in nigeria where we belong so with this we have come to the end of our discussion 
on pre-colonial leadership in Nigeria and also on colonialism in Nigeria. We were able to look into the reasons why economic policy and development thrived in some areas of the country. We also looked into the negative impacts and positive impacts of colonialism in Africa. We also considered the indirect true system which was used by Britain to govern its colonies and the French policy of assimilation and associations. So with this, we have come to the end of discussion on this topic.